On the Circuit by W. H. Auden Among Pelagian travelers lost on their lewd, conceited way to Massachusetts, Michigan, Miami, or L.A., an airborne instrument I sit, predestined nightly to fulfill Columbia Giesen Management's unfathomable will, by whose election justified I bring my gospel of the muse to fundamentalists, to nuns, to Gentiles, and to Jews, and daily, seven days a week, before a local sense is gelled, from talking site to talking site, am jet or prop propelled. Though warm I welcome everywhere, I shift so frequently, so fast, I cannot now say where I was the evening before last, unless some singular event should intervene to save the place. A truly asinine remark, a soul-bewitching face, or blessed encounter, full of joy, unscheduled on the Giesen plan, with here an addict of Tolkien, there a Charles Charles Williams fan. Since merit but a dunghill is, I mount the rostrum unafraid. Indeed, twere damnable to ask if I am overpaid. Spirit is willing to repeat without a qualm the same old talk, but flesh is homesick for our snug apartment in New York. A sulky fifty-six he finds a change of mealtime, utter hell, grown far too crotchety to like a luxury hotel. The Bible is a goodly book I always can peruse with zest, but really cannot say the same for Hilton's Be My Guest nor bear with equanimity the radio in students' cars, Muzak or at breakfast, Muzak at breakfast, or, dear God, girl organists in bars. Then worst of all, the anxious thought, each time my plane begins to sink and the no-smoking sign comes on, what will there be to drink? Is this a milieu where I must... How Graham Greenish, how infra dig, snatch from the bottle in my bag an analeptic swig. Another morning comes. I see, dwindling below me on the plain, the roofs of one more audience I shall not see again. God bless the lot of them, although I don't remember which was which. God bless the USA, so large, so friendly and so rich.